Incisional asigmatic treatment, the best option for low degrees of astigmatism. Disclosure, I own cataractcoach.com. Now, I like torque lenses. I use them every week, and they're best if the patient has one diopter or more of corneal astigmatism. But we're talking about low astigmatism here. For a high astigmatism patient, it's very easy to find the precise axis, and all your different machines give the same reading. So easy. But with a mild degree of astigmatism, less than one diopter, it's hard to find the precise axis, and all your different machines may give a slightly different answer. So the companies know this. In the USA, no matter the company, no company makes a toric lens that corrects less than one diopter at the corneal plane. The SN6, AT2, and ZCT100 are not available in the USA, and there's a good reason. And the reason is your phaco incision. So whatever size incision you do, it causes flattening. It has an astigmatic effect of 0.2 to 0.5 diopters, and that can vary among surgeons and among patients. So you can make your phaco incision on that steep axis, and since most cataract patients have against the rule of stigmatism, it's perfect for temporal. So here's a temporal incision, and we're making it at about the 15 degree meridian, and that looks great. That's going to cause flattening at that meridian. We can shift that incision also and pair it with an LRI, and that'll help also reduce the astigmatism. So at the end of your case, lens in the capsule bag. Here I'm putting some triamcinolone in the anterior chamber, and we'll seal this up. We'll get a sponge soaked in tetracaine and that's going to help give a little bit more anesthesia. Now, we plan out the LRI according to clock hours. One clock hour is 30 degrees. Makes it very easy. You'll also notice that I'm using a fixation ring that's marked off in 30-degree increments or clock hours. So we put the fixation ring down here, and I can line it up, and I can determine where should we do the treatment. And there, we line it up exactly with the mark we want, put the LRI blade 500 microns deep, and we pass this, and you only need a small arc. That's just about all you need. At the end, check to make sure that it's totally sealed and watertight and it dries up nicely. Looks beautiful. We have to aim for perfection. Here's post-op of the lamp, phaco incision plus the small limbal relaxing incision. Comfortable for the patient, they don't feel it, it doesn't tear up with the epithelium. The recovery is identical to just doing a regular cataract surgery. And this patient had about 0.7 diopters of corneal astigmatism, which was fixed very nicely by just the phaco incision and the LRI. So here's a very simple nomogram for an LRI. I learned it from Kevin Miller 20 years ago. It's a very good one. It works well. 500 micron death blade. One clock hour of paired LRIs is about 0.7 diopters. So you can do two paired LRIs, or you can also do a phaco incision plus a single LRI, about the same net effect. Again, easy nomogram. You can do a paired incision to treat astigmatism. I have a full nomogram up on cataractcoach.com. It's totally free to access. And that helps you decrease the astigmatism as well. At the end of the case, the IOL is in the capsular bag. The eye is still full of viscoelastic. We'll line up the keratome now going nasally or opposite of our initial incision, which is temporal. We just do the identical corneal incision there, and that's it. So I love toric IOLs too, but remember, they're for one or more diopters of astigmatism. Incisional approaches are best for low astigmatism, particularly in the USA, where we don't have the toric lenses to correct less than a diopter. Again, here's the patient at the end. We're going to do an LRI here. So fixation ring goes down. We line up where we want to place this. 500 micron depth blade. Goes all the way down. Stays perpendicular to the corneal surface. And we just drag it along there to create about one clock hour. 30 degrees worth. Now, if you want, you can use fancy toys like this to make the incisions. But it really doesn't make a difference. The disposable LRI blade's pretty good. So the incisional astigmatic treatment is the best and only option for 0.7 diopters or less of corneal astigmatism in the USA. So thank you for your attention. I sincerely appreciate it. All my videos are available on cataractcoach.com. Check it out. It's totally free. A new video every day.